So today we're assembling our patio well 4x8 shed and we've got all of our walls and our door put up and now we're moving to the next step. So yeah, we got our walls put up and our doors put up. Everything's going great. And then we get to the step where you put the crossbar across the top. So you have an E2 and two E3s and you assemble them with the SC512 screw right there. Well, we've got the first two screwed together the way the assembly instructions show. And then we're at the other E3 to E3 connection and here we are with the other E3 to E3 connection and it connects right there and you can see that it's not lining up it's not lining up when uh, you get to that part so when you turn it this way you see it's not lining up so I find what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to grind not this slip here but we're gonna have to grind this slip here so that we can get the clearance because right now it's not clearing into the screw hole you can see especially you can see on this one how it's not how it's not clearing and you can see there how it's not matching so we're gonna have to create that clearance by shaving the edge here and that's the only way we're gonna be able to assemble this patio well 4x8 plastic shed. Other than that, the assembly has been smooth and easy. Once you get to this step, if you if you get caught on this step, you better be prepared for turmoil because there's no way to assemble this. It won't fit. Somebody in the weld shop failed on their measurements. So patio well, you're gonna have to do correct this edge right here and you're gonna have to remeasure your welds somebody in the shop has got their measurements wrong and it's gonna create well returns refunds complaints uh, and a lot of agony for anybody trying to assemble their patio well 4x8 plastic shed that is the report